Real estate versus stocks, where rich people invest in 2022. Yes, there has been controversy about this for years. However, let's take a look at it because there are disadvantages and advantages of each. Ken Van Lu, author of the Modern Wealth Building Formula, How to Master Real Estate Investing, to give you some thoughts on stocks versus real estate. Real estate or stocks? Stocks or real estate? What do you do? What do you need? Do you need liquidity? Do you want long-term wealth? What is your goal is one of the questions you have to ask to look at these options. By the way, don't miss the 11 millionairesecrets.com and learn how I earned my first million so you can earn your first million. So let's get into some of the details and disadvantages and advantages of each. So looking at real estate and stocks, you always hear about diversification. Well, real estate actually naturally diversifies itself if you're in different markets and different sectors. What do I mean by that? Well, if you're buying a property in Texas and Florida and New York, you're in different markets. If one property is commercial, another is industrial, another is residential, you're in different sectors. So that's where you naturally diversify yourself and gives you, you know, the advantage that also you can get in the stock market. Now, another advantage with real estate is, as I've mentioned in other videos, is there's a low cost of entry and it's not that risky. And it's not like something's going to just vanish in one day. You just don't lose value like the stock market at times, right? And that's another advantage of real estate. I like real estate because it's very tangible. You can touch it. You can go see it. I like real estate because it gives you long-term wealth. It gives you appreciation. It gives you tax write-offs. And I've always been a favor of real estate. Now, don't get me wrong. You know, I dabbled in a little stocks, but my wife was more of the stock market person and you know you know we started in corporate america we had jobs and you know create your 401k save your money well you know that's more of like stock market thinking right you know and stock market has some advantages too number one advantage of stock market is that its liquidity is instant you can't just sell a piece of real estate overnight you could sell stock overnight right so you know, going back and forth, I was really trying to just focus on the benefits of the real estate. And then we can get into some of the, you know, the advantages and disadvantages of the stock market, which, you know, I'm probably not the guy you want to talk about. I'm not a stock market enthusiast, but like I said, I made a couple bucks in it. A lot of people are making money in it, so I may not frown upon it. Let me just highlight a few things in the stock market. So let's look at what's going on in the stock market. Well, the stock market has had a pretty good history, right? From you know, the 70s to the 2000, I mean, the returns have been in excess of 10%. I mean, that's not a bad return, right? If you're making 10% for that many years, you're making some coin, right? The stock market, like I said, the, another extreme advantage is the liquidity. In and out, you're actually buying shares in a company or you can spread out the risk and go into a mutual fund. You know, there's a lot of different types of stocks, there's index funds, there's mutual funds, there's stocks, there's, you know, a couple different things you can do and, and you can do a lot of things in stocks. You know, you can trade stocks yourself, you can get a stock broker, so you have the advantages of doing it yourself. Me not knowing what I'm doing, I would never do that. Or you can get a broker to kind of handle it, so it's kind of hands off. If you trust that broker and you're, you're happy with 10%, that's great. You know, I want to make a 100% rate of return on my money. And that's one of the reasons I went into real estate. But don't get me wrong, a little bit of, you know, best of both worlds is good too. Do a little stock, do a little 401k, do a little real estate, all combined together. What does it do? It leaves you with long-term wealth and what you're looking for. More time, money, and magic in your life. Hey guys, thank you as always. If you haven't, subscribe, click that button below, but most importantly, get my 11 millionairesecrets.com. This is Ken Van Loo again, in case you just came on. And you know, I just wanted to tell you whether it's real estate or stocks, you want to learn how to invest your money, right? The whole objective here is to make money while you sleep, make a good investment, 
Now, a lot of companies are down because of the pandemic and take advantage of that. Take advantage today. And if you want to learn more about it, you know, come talk to me. Get a free planning session. We're giving them away 45 minutes. Hey guys, one last thing I wanted to tell you about, which we're coming out with and it's live, is the Cosa Nostra of real estate. I'm the godfather of real estate, as you know. And I just want to tell you a little bit about the global real estate investment enterprise. And the thing is smoking. You want to talk about relationship equity that's going to go to the moon and powerful people in that group. And if you're high end into the big time real estate, just give us a call and like always, make it a great day.